Hey everyone, <clears throat> excuse me. Tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Exorbi Man build a figure. So, what's cool about this one, you can kind of, as you can see, I bought, I bought a, quite a bit of them to build both versions, but you have your choice to kind of do two different versions, which is really cool. Um, so, we'll go ahead and get into the details. So, the regular one, um, I was kind of torn, I didn't know. I looked at a lot of pictures, it seems like they were displaying them. Um, well, at least Hasbro was this way. I was kind of tempted to put the metal one with the more of the rock looking one, but oh well. But anyway, so we'll go ahead and get into the details on the first one. And I wish the eyes were better. Uh, both uh, I had to choose from didn't have the best eyes. At least this eye is looking straight on. This one's kind of looking down. But it's definitely a creepy looking absorbing man head, very pointy on the top. But it looks really cool. I really like all the sculpting details with the wrinkles, and with the veins on his chest here. Very much of a cone head, but it looks really cool. So I think at the back, look at all this. I mean, he's ripped. It looks crazy. This looks so crazy looking. <laughs> and then uh, going to his regular arm, it's pretty basic. Same flesh tone, uh, just a fist. But it looks really cool. And then this arm, I really like this arm. I like how shiny it is. It's got a nice uh, black wash over it. really looks like real metal. I just think this looks really good. Nice and cleanly done. I think that just looks awesome. So cool. Almost wish that the wrecking ball was that same color so it would look like he was absorbing the metal from the wrecking ball he's holding. That would have been cool. Going with the rest of the figure, he's got the same black belt, but you can kind of see it looks uh, just like leather. It's very pliable. It can move around easy. It's got a nice silver belt buckle. You can see little holes in there for the different sizes of the belt. But overall, I think that looks really nice. You can see all that nice texturing in the, in the light. It looks like real leather. And you've got the purple pants, kind of the classic jail pants with the stripe around. But it looks nice and it looks good. And the, stri the stripes are pretty clean. There's some spots of uh, where it gets a little sloppy. Um, not too bad overall. But it's got nice wrinkles and it goes down to the big old shoes. Nice little black shoes. Yeah. Looks good. Got very cool looking figure. It's just neat to have two variations. I always like that's one thing I liked about the Odin wave. Um, this this one's by far my favorite. It just looks insane. Very cool. I love this head sculpt. That yelling look, but just the way this is covered the side of his head with that kind of a gold eye. Ah oh, man, that just looks so crazy. It almost reminds me of the burnt vampires in um, 30 Days of Night with uh, Josh Hartnett when they get kind of scolded by the sunlight. It just reminds me of that charcoal skin with the cracking. It looks really cool though. But I just like how it kind of silly fades back into skin. I think that looks so cool. Uh, I can look at that. That looks just awesome. Very cool detail in the mouth too. You can see his tongue and all the muscle like the inside of his mouth. See the gums on the teeth. Eye looks good. The rest of the body is still the same. I like how some of it's kind of flunk, like absorbed into this upper arm and it's continuing up. You can see some of the rock forming in the skin. I think that looks sick. And this actually feels um, like kind of like stone. It's very, it's not, this is smooth and kind of, you can tell it's plastic, but this gets kind of gritty. It's pretty cool. I just love how the fist looks. That just looks sick to me. Oh, this is by far. By far my favorite. I mean, it just looks really cool. Such a cool looking arm. I don't know. I just love the detailing on that. It's so cool. And then this side, is, it's like another type of stone. I don't think it's wood. At first, I thought it was maybe wood because of the brown. Maybe it is. Actually, I think you're. I think it is wood. If you look right around here, it looks like a stem. Right there. Yeah, so he's got kind of like a wood arm. I don't know how well that would do. It might shatter if you get hit by like somebody else, like a Hulk or something. Ah, oh, there's some paint missing right there. Not too big of a deal. But that's kind of crazy to have a wood arm. Yeah, the more I look at it, it kind of looks like bark. It's pretty cool. The rest of the figure is exactly the same. So I'll go ahead and go into. Um, the articulation. So he is on a ball peg, but it still allows him to, doesn't really allow him to look up. Looks side to side, and can't, it looks down a little bit. 
but just on that ball peg, so that's as far as it's going to look up. Um, it's got ball joints and arms. They move out, forward, and back. It's kind of a little bit of a ratchet. Got an upper thigh swivel, single jointed elbow, so it moves up almost 90 degrees. It's got a wrist rotation, also has a hinge, but it can't move too much. It's got a nice ab crunch. He's crunched his back, so that's one way you can get him to look, ah, <laughs> look up. And he's got a waist swivel. He's got ball joints and legs, so you can move forward. Uh, can't kick out too far. And this leg seems to want to go with it. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know why they wiggle together. Uh, you can definitely do the splits. It's kind of nuts. You can do an upper thigh swivel. A double jointed knees. No boot cut, but his ankles do rotate. And he also can move down and up. And he does have an ankle rocker. And um, pickle to bomb his feet. Let's see if I can get these guys to not... There we go. That one's not so much attached. So it seems to be... I move this one up. It wants to bring the left leg up. Interesting. There you go, guys. And I'll go ahead and show you guys how tall Exorbity Man is. Gosh, that looks cool. All right, guys. So Exorbity Man stands right at just a little bit under, about seven and a half, a little over seven and a half inches tall. Ah, oh, so cool looking. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. I just don't like this thing. I'll show you guys the other Exorbity Man I do have. I do not have the Fing Fing Foom series Exorbity Man. I do have the Hulk Classics Exorbity Man, which, wow. Uh, wow. You can just see the difference there. The size difference is humongous. Uh, I do like the Toy Biz one because of the interchangeable arms. I think that that's a cool touch. But holy smokes, that is... Ugh, it's way over a head taller than him. And this guy always reminds me of a caveman. But he does have a lot of... Again, Toy Biz always had a lot of paint detailing. But, uh, I don't know, that build a figure is really cool. The Wrecking Ball is definitely better. I like how it's a plastic chain, so I may end up just... Taking him off the shelf, but keeping his his wrecking ball and kind of warming up these hands and maybe sliding it in there. That might look a little better. We'll see. But there's a little comparison for you guys. I mean, sheesh. It's not, I mean, you guys can definitely leave your comments. But I think the Hasbro one definitely has replaced another Toy Biz figure. It just looks so much cooler here. We'll get a flesh on flesh. He's definitely a lot, uh, not as tan as this guy, but yeah, just that size difference is crazy. That's a crazy size difference. I'll go to show you guys again. We'll see how tall Toy Biz one's next to the Hasbro, just for fun. So you can see the Hasbro one's just over six inches, where this guy's almost eight. I mean, that's crazy. There you go, guys. That's my review on the Marvel Legends Exorbi Man. I love this wave. I think it's awesome. I cannot wait to... I mean, I'm kind of addicted to these things, so I can't wait already for the Onslaught wave. But I hope you guys like the reviews. Um, definitely leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great night.